Christmas with the royal family sounds surprisingly similar to our own. It's perhaps only a Christmas wish that we'd ever spend the holidays with the royal family, but we love to speculate what the festivities are like. Does Buckingham Palace get decked out in miles of garland? Do Princess Charlotte and Prince George open presents under the Christmas tree? Will Prince Harry's new fiancée Meghan Markle be in attendance at Christmas dinner? Well, you don't have to guess. We carefully unwrapped just how a traditional royal family Christmas tends to go. Christmas is celebrated at Sandringham House in Norfolk, though the location has varied throughout the year. When Queen Liz was a young woman the family did Christmases at Windsor Castle. This is currently the go-to meet-up spot. The Queen and Prince Philip head early for Christmas preparations on December 21st. The rest of the family usually follows on December 23rd. Presents are laid out on the trestle tables and opened at tea time on Christmas Eve. You're probably imagining the whole family receiving the finest luxury items. Harry complaining that he received a G6 again this Christmas and what have you. It couldn't be further than that. Instead, the royals have a preference for gifts that are cheap and, believe it or not, kind of funny. Yes, they forego an exchange of extravagance for gag gifts. We wish we could get a peek at what that looks like in practice. That's followed by a lavish black tie dinner. Let's be real. The Queen isn't going to give up her sense of propriety and tradition completely. At approximately 8 p.m. the entire family sits down for a dinner that's fit for a, well, you know. And no ugly Christmas sweaters are allowed. The gentlemen are expected to wear black suits while the women don gowns, jewels, and tiaras. The family dine on Norfolk shrimp, lamb or other fresh game from the estate, and guzzle vintage champagne. In spite of all the fanciness, we imagine that this time is used for the family to catch up properly, and hopefully not get embroiled in too many little tiffs. The next day the family attends an 11 a.m. service at St. Mary Magdalene Church. The Queen is driven and takes her communion privately in the morning. The rest of the family is led to church, where they attend a 45-minute long mass. At 3 p.m. the Queen records her annual Christmas message. The Queen's Christmas message is broadcasted to the states and the Commonwealth of Nations. It gets millions of viewers a year, even beating out Downton Abbey as the most-watched Christmas Day program in 2015. Typically she reflects on the events of the years past as well as the family's accomplishments and updates. And finally, everyone can settle down for a delicious Christmas feast. At this point most of the household staff is formally dismissed. The Queen is mindful that they also have families. That's fine, though. The royals help themselves to a massive Christmas buffet. Turkey is prominently featured. Then they all play charades as a family. Apparently, the Queen is a charades master. Sometimes, William. Kate and the kids break off from Christmas Day activities and spend the holiday with the Middletons. It should be noted that Will and Kate hold their own residence at Sandringham, and Hall, establishing a degree of separation from the rest of the royals. And though it's not every year, in the past they've held private Christmases with the in-laws. Last year's festivities, in fact, were spent at Carol and Michael Middleton's home in Berkshire. So, will Meghan Markle be attending Christmas with the royal family this year? It would be, to say the least, unprecedented. The Queen has strict rules against bringing boyfriends and girlfriends to Christmas. And before you start waving Meghan's triple diamond engagement ring in our faces, rest assured that it hardly makes a difference. Our very own Princess Kate wasn't allowed to spend Christmas at Sandringham after she and Will announced their engagement back in 2010. But we're excited to see what new traditions will evolve with the upcoming generations of the royal family and what holiday happenings will continue to stay the same year after year. <laughs>